Hey everybody, this is Be Divine from Be Divine Online. I really hope this finds you awesome. Decided to do a longer video because you all tend to like the longer ones, so that's great. And I'd like to hear in the comments what sorts of messages and readings that you would like me to do. I don't mind. Okay, from now we're going to start with Archangel Raphael. And these are the Archangel Raphael cards. And we need to understand a little bit about Raphael. He is the supreme healer. He is one of the angels that tends to come into our life as a person, as a healer, as a guide, and offers a lot of support in your sense of humor. He's one of the funniest angels. Like, it is almost impossible not to laugh with him coming into readings and things so here we go what message does he have to start with inner authority dear archangel raphael thank you for supporting me as i take back my power and listen to my intuition desires and feelings inner authority you already know what to do if you find yourself in a position um, where something is looming overhead or someone is driving you a little up the wall or there's some situation that could be potentially dangerous, scary, um, stressful, you must check in with yourself, recenter, take a moment to breathe, in two, three, out two, three and say, what is the worst possible outcome here? Okay, now I know what the worst possible outcome is. So how would I deal with that? And now I already know that there's nothing to fear. I'm calling upon Archangel Raphael and the legions of angels that work with him to cleanse, clear and free this situation up. And to give me that clarity, that strength, quiet focus that I need to move into the next part of my life fearlessly. The archangels especially do not want people to be in that fear-based energy. They want you to have positive outlook, knowing that you are supported all of the time with your dreams, with your goals, with your visions and ask for help when you need it with expectation that it's done. See how silly he is? Massage. Dear Archangel Raphael, help me know I deserve to receive massages and other self-care treatments, right? This is about self-care and, you know, God, I haven't had a massage in I don't know how long. Um... But it's just about taking that time back because what ends up happening to a lot of people is we rush forward. Rush, 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 rush. We're rushing for the finish line, right? And then we say, gee, that went fast. Oh, my God, I can't believe it's already May. Oh, my God, this year's gone so quickly because we're rushing every day by to get to the end of it, right? You can slow things down deliberately as well. And perhaps you need to. If you have a hurried attitude, you may be uh, anxious internally um, or you may have always had to be on some kind of deadline or this needs to happen or else. So if you find yourself um, high performing or overachieving or overdoing and overworking out and all of this stuff and then you wonder why you have sleeplessness, restlessness, you know, high stress levels, okay? It's time to listen to that inner authority. It's time for you to start to wake up to the healer that you are. Again, free course is already there for you, okay? We need to take this time for ourselves. We need to slow down. I find myself, um, the only time in my life when I get really frustrated is when a big job is ahead of me. And so 
or a big I task or something, right? And so I start getting my head in this, um, I start getting my head in this sort of, okay, okay, I've got to do, duck, 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 and yep, it's got to be done, and there can't be one, one mistake, and I get myself in this real, it's got to be done well, it's got to be done properly, there can't be any mistakes, we have to get going on this, why isn't everybody moving quickly, um, can you not see that we need to get this done, like is everybody, is it just me, is, uh, hang on a minute, am I doing this by myself, like come on, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and I start getting myself like that. We have property here and we've had fencing and trenching and all kinds of things to do. And I'm like looking around like everyone's moving around like a slowpoke. I'm like, you know, there's, there's rain coming. We've got to get this done. <laughs> right? And I can hear it in myself and it's a panic of, you know, not being able to complete something and then all this chaos ensues. And that comes from being a kid. So sometimes the things will still come out, even with the people who've been teaching healing for 20-some years, right? We're going to get triggered. Dyer is important here. Dear Archangel Raphael, thanks for guiding me to make positive eating and drinking choices and for reducing or eliminating my cravings for unhealthful substances. I tell you what, the biggest way to get rid of inflammation in your body is to start reading labels, I know. Start reading labels and get rid of the high sugar. You would be surprised, all of the high sugar, once you start pulling that out, you know, the refined sugar, fructose, the corn syrups, etc. It's like your skin comes back to life, your body will start working really well, your brain can function, and it's like you just start dropping that inflammation. So this is also important. I mean, you don't want to start restricting yourself. I never feel that way. I've been eating no meat, <clears throat> plant-based totally since 2007. But that's my choice. It doesn't have to be your choice. But we all know when we're having too many things that are sweets and we know when we're having the wrong thing. So Pulling it all together without being hard on ourselves is key. All right, Archangel Raphael, for everyone that's listening, what else have we got here? What else is coming in? The Three of Pentacles. So whenever we see the eggs also, the nesting here, the eggs, we know success is assured. We also know that there's a lot of skills that you have that you may be just sitting on and it's like we almost hope that someone will notice it but the message here is of strength in what you're doing, focus, communication, taking your time. Instead of being like me sometimes. Is, is anybody else working here? Is it just me? What's what's going on? Come on, chop, chop. Everybody, let's go. <laughs> We've got to get it done. So the hangman, that asks us to also shift into our inner authority. And the seven of wands coming up here as well. So we're shifting into our inner authority. We're seeing things from a different perspective. The weight is almost over. The energy and the power of bringing you into alignment with the next challenge, the next focus, the next, you know, you're just going to get through anything. If you have that mindset of this is easy, it doesn't matter what the hell it is, you're taking your energy away from this, the problem, the situation, the person and recentering yourself. This is easy. Uh, the angels, my spiritual light team, are taking care of all of the details. I just need to get myself out the way and focus on something else. So we end up having this balancing situation come in. Abundance, strength, purpose, protection on every level. We've actually got this, okay? 
we need to just relax and be peaceful.